for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome so we start with the past we have the Emperor now at this time you could have found yourself falling for someone who was older than you or much older than you could have been much older than you. Now, this person was likely to be attracted to order, logic, and organization. Maybe a very neat type per person. The, attrac the attraction, it may not have been mutual from the very beginning but if you were patient and persistent it was more than likely to grow now remember that fireworks at the beginning of a relationship are all well and good but you needed to ask yourself how long will fireworks last? You also knew that a slow burning connection is much likely to fur outlast the fireworks. And we have this card paired with a page of pentacles. Now if you were in a committed relationship, it may have it may it could have lost some of its spark some of its luster now that doesn't have to mean that the relationship ended or it was the end of a relationship but it does signify that you needed to take action and discussion to make things work and that was necessary for the relationship to last so to create change, positive change, you needed to be honest about how you were feeling and if you were not in a relationship and you couldn't seem to meet someone new, you took a look carefully at what you were holding in your heart. Now, you could have still been attracted to an ex or holding on to the past person and you may have needed to let it go before you could expect to move forward and that's in your past so let's move on to the present we have a nine of pinnacles now the nine of pinnacles is a very excellent card in the tarot regards to love if you're already in a committed relationship, expect the relationship to rise to newer levels and newer heights of intimacy and joy. Also, if you're not in a relationship and looking, this card, it shows us that someone new who has what it takes to be in a new, meaningful, deep love could be headed your way really soon. So smile because everybody loves a happy lover. And this card is paired with a chariot. Now it's possible that you're tempted to go too far too fast and that someone is pressuring you in that way. Now either way communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and preferences and be honest with yourself about the possibilities. So if you're not interested in that relationship or in a relationship with someone who clearly wants you or who clearly wants one with you, then the kindest thing you could possibly do is to let them know that you're just not interested. Because the short term this may cause will benefit everyone in the long run. 
Now, with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Pentacles is just letting you know if you're already in a relationship, it could rise to newer heights of intimacy and joy. It will be going very well. And if you're looking for someone, uh, you can meet someone new in a great way, meaningful, deep, loving way. And being that it's paired with the chariot, when you meet this person, don't be tempted to go too far too fast. Just keep in mind, slow and steady. Slow and steady, it wins the race. So... Either way, communicate as best as you can about your boundaries. And that's in your present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Now this is a very feminine card in the tarot. If you look at the picture, you can see that. It also points to strategy, particularly for those who are not currently involved with anyone. Now, the strategy to find love is the stereotypical feminine one. So, don't chase it. Make yourself available, but don't be desperate to bring someone new into your life. Because when the time is right, that will be made absolutely clear to you and you won't have to do backflips to make something come about. Now just remember to be upbeat and know your worth. Know that you have many things in which you are worth loving. And we have this card paired with the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups, it represents true love, balanced partnerships, commitment, and all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. However, this card doesn't mean that you can just do or say whatever you're thinking and think that the love relationship is going to last. Now, it only means that the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. So, keep in mind, if you are looking for love, this is a signal that it is very likely to be headed your way fast, very soon. So just relax. And we, with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, it's about being feminine. You don't want to push for love. You want to let it come to you. Um, it points to strategy. Okay? Now, the strategy to find love is a stereotypical feminine type of way. You don't chase it, but you make yourself available. You fix yourself up and you make yourself upbeat and you present yourself. Okay? And this card is paired with the Two of Cups. So while you're doing this, presenting yourself in a femi feminine strategic way, uh, the Two of Cups is letting you know that it's a great time for true balanced partnerships and true love, the kind that most of us hope for. So don't waste this time staying in the house because the Two of Cups is a very, very good card for love and potential for true love and affection is there. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. The Nine of Cups 
Now, this is a, also a very, very good card in the tarot for your love life. If you're already in, in a relationship, it's very possible that it's going to deepen and become better and much more sweeter. So if you're single, it's a great time to meet people. So you have to remember to get out, mix and mingle, have conversations with strangers, people that you already know, people that you meet without being married to, and any potential outcome. The ideal is to have fun at this time. And this card is paired with the Six of Cups. So if you're currently in a romantic relationship, by taking a look at the picture in this card, you can see that it indicates that a relationship may need to be refocused toward the future. So talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. Now, also it's important not to be stuck in the past. On occasions, this card, it will signify the reappearance of an old past lover, an old flame. So think long and hard about restarting an old romance because exes are usually exes for a reason. That's what you need to keep in mind. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Cups is one of the best cards in the tarot for love or for your love life. So if you're in a relationship, it will definitely deepen and become much better and sweeter. And if you're not, get out there and mix and mingle, talk to strangers, have fun, because now's a good time to find love. And being that this card is paired with the Six of Cups, the relationship that you're already in, it just may needs to be refocused towards the future. Don't settle in the state of mind that you two are already in. Talk about the future, your goals and dreams. And also, someone from your past, if you're single, they could want to make a return. So that will give you something else to think about. And that's your outcome. So Cancer, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.